Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the course. Welcome back to the Udemy course. So, we've learned a whole lot about foundation and we are on foundation. So, in the previous tutorials, we learned about um, how to do straight footing. So, in this tutorials, you are going to learn how to draw raft foundation in Revit. Aside that, you are going to learn the types of raft foundation and also how to draw these various types of um, raft foundation in Revit. So these are what we are going to do. We are going to draw something similar like this. So this are one type of raft foundation which is called a solid slab raft foundation. So uh, we have the slab beam raft foundation and also we have the cellular raft foundation in which more of times they are voiced inside so these are what we are going to target in our tutorials today so guys let's move right away into our Revit user interface so as we know already we normally come into the new area and we look for a structural template here so you can still keep on working with this template to become your project template so I'm trying to open the template and right away we are in the template. So as I said before, I'm on level 1. And what I'm going to do is, I'll come to my elevation area. And I'm going to create a level again. So I can do create similar by doing Control S. So it seems I don't really have um, most of the shortcut here. So I'm going to cl click on this one, create similar here, and I'm going to draw another level here. So with this level, I'm going to name it top of top of foundation. top of foundation so this is the level in which we are going to use for our raft foundation but first of all let me explain the meaning of a raft foundation in case you don't understand or you are a novice you only understand what is raft foundation so a raft foundation is actually a thick concrete slab resting on a large area of the soil which is reinforced by a steel and also supporting columns or walls and load are transferred from the structure to the soil and also let's say usually mat foundation is spread over the entire area of the structure as of the structure it is supporting so a rough foundation is actually a thick concrete slab resting on a large area of a soil reinforced with a steel supporting columns and walls and load or load are transferred from the structure to the soil so that's the meaning of rough foundation okay so we move on to our tutorials whilst we are here so in the top of level I would like to open it from my project browser at the level area. So after opening this way, then you come to your structure tab. At the structure tab, you look for foundation and you look for slab. So this structure foundation slab is the one we use to draw our raft foundation. So I'm going to select on this and I'm going to pick rectangle from this side. And I'll draw some rectangle here. Okay, so there is a default span direction here in which we don't need it right now. So I'm going to select it and click on delete. Okay. Aside that, I'm going to place certain columns on it so that this slab or this raft is going to support this column. And this raft foundation is it was being spread on an area. When I come to the 3D, you can see on the top of foundation like that. 
So this is what our columns or walls are going to be placed on it. So let's come into the structure area again and place certain columns on it. So I don't want um, a steel column, I'm going to use a concrete column. So I'll come here, select 300 by 450 column. But before that, I like to create a datum level, which will be my grid lines. So I'm going to pick a grid line from here, do escape a couple times and select here, check the head of the grid line from here. Okay, so we'll try to create similar again. So I'm going to name my horizontal vertical grid line as alphabet starting from A. Okay, so I have to copy this one. Great similar. Now I can select this one and also copy and select the grid line A. Okay, so let me check all the hairs of the grid line. Okay, now we are done with our grid lines, so I'm going to continue to place in my columns. So the first column which I place, I'm going to select it and place it. So I'll come back to my column and select as grid and select everything. So then I'll do finish from here. Now bear in mind, you have to come into your 3D by using this house select one of your columns you right click and you select in the entire project right now we are going to set our level from top of foundation to level two then on the base offset i'm going to do here zero so i'm going to change the graph graphic display to realistic okay there we have it so I'm going to also expand my raft here like that. So as a structural engineer, you have to determine um, the thickness of your raft foundation and also anything concerned the raft foundation. So what we normally do at the office is we try to place certain column base at where the foundation is or at where the columns are. And better still, I can do at columns and do finish. Okay. So the next thing that we are going to do in the rough foundation is the edge beam, which will be the rough edge beams. This is what we are going to do the next. So I'll come to the edges of the raft and I'll click here. So I'm going to do it one by one. So when I click here, I'll just do escape a couple of times and I'll come back to there is a reason why I'm doing it this way. Then I'll click here again. Okay, so right now we can check it from our 3D if we have the right thing here. So let me take a session through what we have done.
So with this, I'll continue by using the switch join in order to join my slab and my edge beams. I'm going to do same also for the horizontal edge beams. There we have it. So now you can proceed by maybe doing certain detailed levels. Now you can come to the annotation area and also place a tag on it. So this one is going to be your edge. We can also use a fill region in order to create our hardcore filling. So I'll go on to change the hatch pattern. Hardcore. Okay, so this one type of um, the foundation, which is a solid slab rough foundation. So the next one that we are going to do will be the slab beam rough foundation. So I'm going to select um, the wrap that I did here, but better still, I can also draw a new one from here. So I'm going to go ahead and go again here, somewhere here. So I think it's best I use the one that I did the first one. So the slab beam wrap foundation is simple, normally the beams are in to strengthen the foundation and also transfer load from what the slab into the ground. So normally we do provide another slab at the intervals of the column to strengthen what the column. So I'll come back here. And provide a slab somewhere here.
So let's check the three B and see. So now we can copy series of them from this area. I'm going to select one and also do it 90 degrees from here. So I have to select this one and move this one from here to here. I'll select it and do align. So I'm going to extend it to the edge of the columns from here. After that, I have to do finish from here. Right now, it's time for me to select these various beams in which I have drawn in order to stiffen the columns at the center. Okay, so we've managed to draw the two types of raw foundation we have, as we mentioned earlier in our tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Shalom. Peace. Bye-bye.